Hey guys, this is Evelis the Espion. Um, deviating a little bit from standard operating procedures today, you notice that the game that you see in front of you is very much not Donkey Kong Country. Um, I decided to take a little break from Donkey Kong Country. Um, I don't want to get too agitated for like the Let's Play videos because I want to make sure that I can still make an entertaining product for you guys and something that you guys can laugh at and have fun. But it kind of defeats the purpose of it if I'm not having too much fun. Um, played a few levels of the Donkey Kong thing recently and was getting kind of frustrated. So um, in the attempt to kind of make me want to play it again, I decided that in the meantime we're going to try something else. Uh, basically, name of the game here is Shark Attack. Um, it's actually a pretty cool game. Um, it uh, was made, as you can see, uh, the artistic and musical style of the game is supposed to re be reminiscent of like the old school, um, you know, Genesis and like Super Nintendo games. Um, actually, we'll turn that down a little bit. Don't want to irritate our neighbors this late, right? Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's it's supposed to be a callback to like games of that era in both its art style and its sound. Um, it's created by uh, two uh, members of the furry community, uh, Renard V and Squeege Monster. I'm going to be posting a link to both of their FA pages in the description. Um, Renard is uh, semi-well known for his musical ability. Um, he actually did provide the music for this game. Um, the music is actually pretty friggin' awesome, if I do say so myself. So basically, here, you got your choice, like, there's the normal mode, you play as Mischief, this girl here. If you are freaking crazy, you can play on Mayhem, which is the hard mode. And then there's there's this person. Um, kind of a little spoiler here, like, I'm, I'm not gonna reveal who this is. Uh, but yeah, uh, suffice to say, if you're actually insane enough to beat the game with Mayhem, this chick right here, you'll unlock, you'll unlock this chick, and, uh, not gonna have the easiest time. But yeah, um, even on normal, uh, this game is actually insanely difficult. Um, in fact, most people who try this can't get past like the first level on their first try. Um, but I've played it a few times. I've gotten, you know, pretty decently good at it. Uh, I can consistently get to about level four. So we're gonna do a little LP now, I guess, as a little bit of a demo to show you guys. Um, this game is actually. Uh, available for only like six bucks on Renard's website, so hopefully this will help you make a more educated decision as to whether or not you want to purchase it. Basically, in this game here, we've got this little robots that drop the um, that drop the power things. You notice how my power is in the corner there. Um, you know, the 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 higher the power, the more the more powerful your hit is. Um, once your your uh, your power meter goes above 100, you gain that little satellite that you see rotating rotating around me that fires at the same time I do. Um, then once you get to two up here, like you see right now, 200 is the max power. Basically, when you kill an enemy, the score that you get is dependent on your multiplier at the time and the point value of the enemy that you destroyed. So basically, the game is just a matter of keeping up your power and shooting as much things as you can. But kind of have to be um, semi-cautious when it comes to what you choose to destroy. Um... Your hitbox is only your head. There is a focus mode that you can do. It's right right there. shows you your hitbox. Um, I rarely ever use it. Um, it doesn't do me much good because it actually does, see, it slows you down when you move it, when you use it. So I, I usually don't rely on it um, because, you know, w once you play it enough, you, you know, you kind of get a hang of where the hitbox is anyway, so you don't really need to use it, but... As long as Mischief or Mayhem's head isn't hit, you're you're pr you're pretty much okay. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know if you can if you can hear the music. Uh, like I I tried to have it as high as I could at this at this time of the evening without disturbing the neighbors. Um, but yeah, the the soundtrack is also available on Renard's website. Uh, I believe it's only like two dollars or something. No, wait, no, no. The game is six, and I believe the soundtrack is four. Don't quote me on that. But even still, like that's that's like nothing. Um, I bought this at Anthrocon, um, so I didn't have to buy it online. But 
yeah, like, it's just, it's a really fun game, it's incredibly addictive, and it's really freaking hard. Um, not really seeing that too much yet, um, I guarantee you I'm making it look easier than it actually is. Um, that wasn't meant to sound, like, arrogant or... Um, but, and I, I, yep, we have our first boss here. But no, like, I don't mean for that to sound arrogant, but, like, really, like, I am making this look a lot easier, like, uh, than it really is. Um, as I said, most of the time, the first time, uh, people play it, they can't get past the first level, or first or second level, without losing all their lives. So, it actually really is hard, and you have to bear in mind how many times I've played this, like, this first boss, like, I've got his attack pattern down, um, I know exactly what to do. Um, and if I'm lucky, I may be able to beat level 2 without a death, either. If I managed, if you manage to beat a boss without, uh, without losing any lives at all, you actually get an, an extra life bonus, which is pretty nice. And I believe I am close to beating him. Yep. So now we're at 11 lives, um, which is pretty good. Oh yeah, um, I forgot to mention, like, your score, when you kill enemies, your score is also dependent on your lives as well. So it's a combination of your power, the score value for the monster you killed, and your lives remaining. But yeah, so as you can see, it's a pretty simplistic game. There's really not much more to it than what I've already described, so... I'm gonna yap a little bit less now and talk a little bit more about the game itself. Or, or rather, um have a little bit more commentary-wise. So yeah, um, I'm sure you've noticed by now that um, as... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so that was our first death, and like, honestly, I feel pretty, pretty, pretty retarded, because um, I sh should not have died there. That was pretty dumb on my part. Um, but yeah, see, but that just goes to show you how easily one can die in this game. <laughs> um... Your characters are one hit point wonders, and as I'm sure you've noticed, uh, the characters are all rather busty females, and they are anthropomorphic, which pleases pleases our furry fandom members. And now we're see now we're back down only a single shooter because I let my power get down to one. But yeah, oh, I wish you guys could hear that music clearly, because really, this music is is top freaking notch, and then we die again. Freaking A. Oh, what the hell? I'm doing so horribly! <laughs> Ah, uh, as compared, you know, to the first level, where I actually did semi-decently. Okay, so we're doing a little bit better now, we got our power up again. Um, I might be able to get away with beating the boss without dying, um, assuming I don't have a death before I get there. Uh, we should be able to start World 3 with an even 9 lives, which is what we started out with, a la Cat. So there's... yeah. That was a little bullet hell there. I feared for my life. I believe it's boss time. Yep, boss B time. So as you, as you can see, the art style is like very anime-esque, while at the same time being very callbacky to to old uh, um, uh, Master System. That's what, that's what I was thinking of. Master System graphics. Um, in fact, I believe uh, Renard composed the music using the actual soundboard, um, or or set of set of musical instruments rather that that uh, Master System games used. So yeah, actually, we're doing pretty well so far. Um, I feel pretty confident that I will finish this without a death. Yep. Okay. So we got the perfect bonus. Um, we lost a couple lives, but we're back up to nine, which is what we started at. Um, so I have a pretty decent score so far. Um, but yeah, this level is actually kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, this is where the game really starts being mean, because as, as you can see, enemies start coming from behind you in this level. Um, 
which means you you and then see like you're watching behind you and then and then these guys like you shoot them and they just like fly off in all kinds of crazy directions don't really know where they're going to go most of the time <sighs> so yeah um we are in an underground facility and we're getting hit um they are testing the effects of prolonged exposure to bacon um so far they have um freaking 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 hell so far they have found that the only real negative side effects of the prolonged exposure to bacon are deliciousness um fatigue and the occasional bout of bacon strips Ah, uh, I love bacon. It is the name of the game. Except it's shark attack. Oh yeah, so this is really... Like, there's they move so fast that there's really no way to kill those guys before they just kind of appear. So really the only... What I just tend to do is let them fire and then... Find a safe spot in the middle, but then still get, still get fired at. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. Like <laughs> this game, uh, this game is a lot of trial and error. Um, in fact, with the five lives, I may not even be able to get to the end of the command set. Um, I think we're actually closing it on boss three. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So this is the. This is the crawfish dude, the one that you could only hurt when his mouth is open. We're gonna attempt. So, okay, open up, open wide, so I can kill you. Oh, <laughs> do, 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 do. oh, this music is so badass. And then we're just gonna get hit because we're stupid like that. Bum, 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 bum. You're so hysterical, Mr. Crawfish. Crawfish can't do that with their hands. You're so you're so crazy. Look at you. Look at you. Look at that pee. I want that pee. I need the power. Okay. So yeah, sounds as though my roommate is shooting bullets at my door. Um, our little random... Ah! random quote of the day. Come on, I just want to beat this guy. I at least want to be able to get to the command center. Okay, there we go. So no perfect bonus this time. But whatever, at least I get to show you level 4 of the command center. This is probably as far as I'm going to get. This level is where it starts to get, like, wicked, hella, insane hard. There's nothing that comes to attack you from behind, but as you can see, we have a nice little blackout basement effect going on here. Um... And it really, like, this level has a knack for... Uh, killing you? This level has a knack for making the lights go out right before a mob of enemies barrels upon you. And uh, this level also has little dudes that aren't so little that shoot a gigantic beam that... You... Those guys. See? <sighs> gigantic beam of light. I can't see anything. So yeah, and ke keep in mind, guys, this is this is uneasy. This is easy mode, or or normal, I guess. There's no real quote unquote easy. It's just normal and hard. And these guys, like, I usually don't even bother shooting down until they die. Um, uh, but yeah, um, I mean, it is kind of cool. This game does have a training mode, so like, if you're having trouble. Um, you can play on that mode. It basically... Uh... So yeah, uh, <laughs> we lost all our lives, but we got a score of 2,140,110, which is uh, a pretty decent score for me, and I actually think it's one of the better ones I've got. So, um, But yeah, as you can see here, if you are having a bit of a difficult time, you can press T at the character select screen. That puts you in training mode. Um, you can do that to learn the enemy attack patterns and stuff like that. Um, you don't gain any score, and you can't lose all your lives. But yeah, it's a good way to learn. I pretty much had to in order to get the hang of the game. So yeah, that was Shark Attack. Um, thanks for joining me today. Uh, again, the... 
Uh, Renard and Squeege Monster are the two people who worked on that game. Renard did the music, Squeege Monster did the artwork. If you're interested in uh, checking out either one of them, I'm going to post the links to their FA profiles in the comment section. And if you're at all interested, by all means, go to the website and check it out. I'm not sure what the name... I, th I believe it's uh, surgdesign.com. P-S-U-R-G design.com. Um, I'll post that in the description as well. So yeah, you can go there and download the game and the soundtrack if you are so inclined. But yeah, this is Evelis the Espion. Again, thanks for joining me, and I hope you guys have a great night, and hopefully we'll be seeing you tomorrow.